first half was tough. Not great. Um, spread out a lot. Easy for them to play. I think the second half was better. Created some chances. I should have had one. And then the last 10 minutes are just a breakdown. And they scored three goals. So not a great game. Not horrible, but not, not good. What about the tone post? Thanks for the time to say, uh, you know, are, are there any motivations the group can, uh, or are, are there any takeaways, excuse me, the group can learn from this one? Or is it like Seattle where, you know, you can almost use it as motivation to, to start a new run considering, you know, the, the form the team eventually went up and after that one? Um, I think the first 30 minutes in the second half are pretty good. I think we create two or three chances that on another day I'd probably go in. Um, but also the last 10 minutes are no good. So I think there are takeaways, but I think it's also just one. Obviously, you want to take a look at it, but it's also when you want to just forget and get on to the next one. Go back to Pollard, Berlin Wade. Hey, Ralph, thanks for the time, uh, especially in the first half. What wasn't working there in the middle of the pitch with you, Connor, and Danny? I think we were just too spread out. Um, it was easy for them to find ways to get out, find ways to build. I think Almada had a lot of space to play and to create chances. So when a player like that has all that space, it's it's difficult to play against. So I think just being closer together, closing spaces, being more compact would have helped. Go to Brady Nurse, Denver Sports Magazine. Hey, Rob, thanks for the time. When you know when you have the first half like you did tonight, how important is it just to you know tell yourselves as a team just kind of slow down, play like you know now, and kind of limit the turnovers? Sorry, what was the question? At halftime, after after the first half that you guys had, just how important is it to, to kind of just bunker down and uh, kind of slow it down, play like you know how limit turnovers or something? Yeah, I think that was a big point of emphasis at half to be better on the ball, to take care of the ball. I think we also just just played better in the second half for like the first 25, 30 minutes. So, yeah, just a tough night, bad result. Just move on to the next one, honestly. Thanks, Matt. Ralph, these last two results have kind of soured, you know, what was a really nice run for the club. How do you guys regroup given the significance of Saturday when some run? Yeah, the good thing about the pier that we're in is that there's games coming fast and there's no time to dwell on bad results. I think we have two derbies coming up, so it's easy to get up for those. And we know those are two must-win games, so we'll be ready for them. Go for Ralph, you know, you've played with Yosuke a bit with R2 and uh, seen what he can do, and obviously I'm familiar with this game, but um, I guess how nice was it to see him get his debut tonight? And, you know, I guess what maybe it's been like training with him and seeing his development. Yeah, it's happy for him, good for him. Um, I think we all know how it is to work a long time to get to that point. So. Happy for him. Good for him. He He's at the level in training. He's a good player. He's a smart player. So I think he's been good in training. He was ready for the opportunity today, I think. And just he just has to keep going. Awesome, Brayden. Yeah, just in terms of, of player availability and health issues, stuff like that, Coach was talking about how that directly relates to kind of fatigue tonight. How did you how did you feel tonight as far as a, a fatigue standpoint? I don't want to use guys being hurt as an excuse for fatigue. I think we're all pros. We should all be ready to play games every three days. Um, I think we were just not good today. So that's it. Uh, we're all kind of touching on just the the 
maybe tiredness of the team after such a long run and so many games in such a few, you know, short amount of time. Robin touched on some of these guys that are getting some good minutes. Alex um, Moise is getting in more. How important is that for the depth of the depth of the midfield that that we have that and we have that ability to, to put those guys in when we get into kind of tough spots like this? Yeah, it's good for for more guy more guys to get involved. Um, I think you can only do so much in training. So guys getting game minutes opportunity helps their own development. And the more guys that develop and get better, the more it helps the team. So it's important. It's good.